3 Minutes to Build Self-Confidence How to Be More Confident Have you ever felt like you weren't good enough? Like you didn't measure up to the people around you? Yeah, we've all been there. It's that nagging voice of self-doubt that whispers in your ear, holding you back from going after what you truly want. Well, in this video, I'm going to reveal how to silence that voice and unleash the confident, powerful person you were born to be. Let's talk about power posing. Now I know what you're thinking. Mel, you want me to stand like Wonder Woman for three minutes and magically transform into a CEO? Not exactly. See, the problem with the way we've been taught about power posing is that it's often reduced to a superficial act. It's not just about striking a pose for the gram, it's about changing what's happening inside your body. When we feel powerless or insecure, we shrink ourselves physically. We hunch our shoulders, cross our arms, and make ourselves small. This posture actually releases stress hormones like cortisol, making us feel even more anxious and less confident. Power posing is about consciously shifting your body language to signal confidence to your brain even if you don't feel it yet. So, how do you do it effectively? It's not about forcing a fake smile while striking a power pose. It's about finding poses that make you feel expansive and strong. Maybe it's standing tall with your hands on your hips, chin lifted, like you just won a race. Or maybe it's leaning back in your chair with your arms behind your head, feeling relaxed and in control. The key is to hold the pose for at least two minutes. As you hold the pose, focus on your breath, slow it down, and really feel your body expanding. Studies have shown that power posing can actually lower cortisol levels and increase testosterone, the hormone associated with dominance and confidence. Now I want you to try it. Right now, wherever you are, find a power pose that resonates with you. Stand tall, expand your presence, and watch your confidence soar. Now let's talk about positive affirmations. I know, I know, you've probably heard it all before. Look in the mirror and tell yourself you're amazing. But let's be honest, sometimes repeating positive phrases when you're feeling anything but positive can feel, well, a little ridiculous. The key to making affirmations truly work is to make them believable and action-oriented. Instead of generic statements like, I am successful, dig deeper. Ask yourself, what does success look like to me? What actions am I taking to achieve it? Instead of, I am confident, try, I am becoming more confident every day by stepping outside of my comfort zone. By linking your affirmation to specific actions, you're not just repeating empty words, you're creating a roadmap for building genuine confidence. Another powerful technique is to reframe negative thoughts into positive ones. For example, if you catch yourself thinking, I'm going to mess this up, immediately counter it with, I am capable and I am prepared to do my best. So start by identifying the negative self-talk that holds you back. Write it down. Then, rewrite those limiting beliefs into empowering affirmations. By consistently feeding your mind with positive, action-oriented statements, you'll start to believe them, and your actions will follow. Finally, let's talk about the power of visualization. Now I'm not talking about some mystical woo-woo practice. Visualization is a scientifically proven technique used by athletes, performers, and successful people from all walks of life to achieve their goals. The problem is that many people misunderstand visualization. They think it's simply about daydreaming about their desires. But true visualization is about creating a vivid mental rehearsal of yourself achieving your goals engaging all of your senses. Instead of just picturing yourself crossing the finish line, feel the rush of adrenaline, hear the roar of the crowd, taste the victory. The more detailed and sensory-rich your visualization, the more real it will feel to your brain. When you repeatedly visualize yourself succeeding, you're essentially creating neural pathways in your brain that pave the way for real-life success. So, how do you visualize effectively? Start by getting clear about your goals. What do you want to achieve? Once you have a specific goal in mind, find a quiet space where you can relax and close your eyes. Now, create a mental movie of yourself successfully achieving your goal. Don't just watch yourself from a distance, step into your own body and experience it firsthand. The more you train your mind to see yourself succeeding, the more you'll start to believe it's possible and the more likely you are to take the actions necessary to make it happen. So, there you have it. Three powerful techniques to boost your self-confidence in just three minutes. Remember, confidence isn't something you're born with. It's a skill you can develop with practice. So, strike a power pose, reprogram your mind with positive affirmations, and visualize yourself shining brightly. Now, I want to hear from you. 
Which technique resonated with you the most? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you love this video and want more tips on unlocking your full potential, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. Remember, you are capable of incredible things. Believe in yourself, take action, and go out there and make your dreams a reality.